let's write the equation of this trig graph. So first let me write the equation, the general equation of a trig graph or this is a sine or a cosine graph. So if you know the maximum or minimum, generally you will have the maximum or minimum. You can write it as a cos graph. Okay, so I'm going to write the general formula like this. Y is equal to the amplitude amplitude times your cos. So I'll write generally, you can also write sine uh, times 360 degrees or 2 pi in radians divided by the period or one cycle times x minus the starting point sp is for starting point close the bracket plus or my plus baseline so we need to decide the amplitude we need to decide the period we need to know the baseline and also the starting point so let's write what where uh, these basic facts now to write to find the baseline and amplitude we the maximum is enough so from this is your maximum 8.6 and your minimum is minus 1.4 okay so let me write maximum so your max the maximum that we have is 8.6 and the minimum is minus 1.4 your the baseline is the average of this two so this is 8.6 plus negative 1.4 let me scroll to this side minus 1.4 divide by 2 so let me cal get my calculator out so let me drag it to this side menu run bracket 8.6 minus 1.4 divided by 2 which is 3.6 your baseline the baseline is 3.6 now the amplitude is the distance between the baseline and maximum or minimum so 3.6 to 8.6 so your amplitude is 5 the amplitude is 5 the distance or 8.6 minus 3.6 is 5. Now to decide the period you need to look at the x coordinate. For finding maximum or minimum you look at the y coordinate and to look at the period to find the period you look at the x coordinate. So this is this is let me use a darker color. Yeah, this is this is 4.82 and this is 12.82 so this is half a cycle the distance from the maximum to the minimum is half the cycle so from 8.4.82 you're running to 12.82 so half a cycle is uh, how much 8 so one full cycle is 16 so one period or cycle is 16 and let's decide the starting point the starting point in the previous video I started at maximum so in this video I'm going to start at the minimum the starting point I'm going to say is minus sorry, no it's 12 point your starting point is 12.82 so we're going to use this formula so we are starting at this is the final decision your starting point is what is it maximum or minimum your starting point is minimum okay so the type of graph from your baseline sorry from your minimum the type of graph is going to be minus cos the type of graph is minus cos so writing the equation I can say y is equal to your amplitude is what amplitude is phi so phi times negative cos times I'll first do in degrees so this is 360 divided by your p the period what's the period period is 16 times x minus the starting point which is 12.82 we need to do a bit of simplifying plus the baseline which is 3.6 
So let me slightly go up. So y is phi times negative cos is negative phi cos. This is how much? 360 divided by 360. 360 divided by 16. Am I right? Yeah. 360 divided by 16 is 22.5. So this is 22.5 times x minus 22.5 times 12.82. The calculator will do the rest for us, plus 36. So this is the equation of this graph. OK, so let we need to check it now. So let me get my calculator. So my first, I have to look at my settings. Hopefully, you can see, yeah, no, you can't see the equation, so I can, s I hope you can see the equation, yeah, so let me slightly drag to this side, hopefully good, so now, go to graph, and I know is minus, oops, so before I draw the graph, I need to look up my setting, whether it's in degrees, it's in radians, I have to change this into degrees. That's the first thing that you need to do. So it is minus phi cos bracket. This is how much? 22.5, 22.5 x minus 22.5 times 12.82, right? Close the bracket plus 3.6. Yeah, I made a mistake here. It should be 3.6. Your baseline is 3.6. 3.6. And now I need to, before drawing the graph, I need to set the scale. Your maximum is 20.82. Okay, so let me drag this to this side to see the, decide the scale. Oops. Okay, so your minimum is minus 1.4. So shift G solve. I'll go from say 0 to 40 on x-axis because I can see 40 here. Uh, step of say 5 would do. And on y I'll go from minus 3 is fine because I want minus 1.4 and maximum is 4.82. So minus 3 or say let me go for minus 5 to plus 5. Would that do? Yeah, that would do. This is, no, it's 8.6. Your maximum is 8.6. I'll have to change this to say 10. Scale of 2 would do. Hopefully, this is a graph. So we need to confirm the maximum, the y-intercept. Okay, so let me drag it to this side to show you. This is the y-intercept maximum and minimum. So we'll confirm this. So let's confirm GSOL y-intercept. 2.02. Okay, so that's confirmed. G sol and maximum. 4.82, 8.6. Okay, and if you press this key, you'll have the second, which is again 20.82, 8.6. And we need to confirm this. G sol and minimum, which is 12.82 minus 1.4. Okay, now. You can also write the same thing in in radians. So if you want to write in radians, the equation is almost the same. Y is equal to minus phi cos would not change. This will be 2 pi divided by 16 times x minus 12.82. Close the bracket plus 3.6. So we need to do be, be simplify this a little. So this is y is equal to minus phi cos. This is how much? Pi by 8. So this is pi x. This is how you need to enter on a calculator. Pi x divided by 8 minus 12.82 pi. 12.82 pi divided by 8. Divided by 8 plus 
we'll get the same equation but before we graph it we need to change this into radian so so let me delete this first and go to my setup change this into radians first before I enter exit exit so it is minus phi cos bracket shift pi x divided by 8 I need to see the equation minus 12.82 shift pi is the right 12.82 pi divided by 8 plus 3.6 should get the same graph. Here we go and then go GSOL Y intercept. Okay, GSOL maximum, G or you can check the other maximum, GSOL and minimum. Okay, so this is how you can write equation of any sine or cosine graph using this basic information. Okay, so to find the uh, sine or cosine, uh, the equation of a sine or a cosine graph. Generally, it will be cosine graph because you're starting from maximum or minimum. Okay, so you need to know maximum, minimum. That will give you baseline. That will give you amplitude, and from the, you can find the period from looking at the, uh, the distance from the maximum to minimum, which is half the cycle, times it by two, which will give you full cycle or one period. And your final decision is about where you're starting. If you're starting at minimum, it's negative cost. And if you're starting at maximum, it's positive cost.